Many thanks for your company. Before I start, <coughs> I'll just quickly whisk through the colours. Got ultramarine, cad yellow, pines grey, lizard crimson, raw sienna, burnt umber and light red. Large on Ransom Ike, 15 by 11 Fabriano. Let's kick off with a big brush. A little bit of water, not a, not a huge amount. All the way over, top to bottom, left to right. Then I'm going to the raw sienna. I'll throw a little bit of yellow in it as well. Let's see what that looks like. Slightly uh, stronger than I was uh, expecting, but I'll come up with that. Let's clean the brush. Take a little bit of ultramarine. Bang some of that in. There's our sky. That's good. Quickly dry that. the water by mistake because I'm using those same colours. I'm just getting into the same ones. Bit of cad, bit of raw sienna, bit of ultramarine. Let's put in some distant distant trees. Now I'm going to use that as the horizon line or at least some of it. Just, just kind of flatten it off a little bit. Something like, something like that. I'm going to throw a little bit of light red in there as well. A bit of brown back over to the blue. Same three colours again. So I'm going to still want the dark, so I'm just going a bit of burnt on back, ultramarine. Actually, before I do any more, I'm just going to quickly use the this brush and just, just let's use the finger now, a few little branches and things up there. Might be slightly too big for a uh, distance. Uh, that's, that's okay. Just pop a few little things growing up there. Put the thing with it in there. Right, stop messing about. Big tree doing up there, like that. There's something like so. The one next to it, it's doing up that way. So, the one up there. A bit more water, a bit more brown, a bit more blue. So, one going up there, like that. Switch the Riga brush, pop a few little few little things on there. Bit more paint, bit more water. Branches on this one. Things going all around there. Something out over here. Small 
put a bit of, a bit of dry brushwork on there. I'll see how it goes. Some smaller things growing down there. Lots of big twigs and grasses and things growing. A bit more paint, a bit more water. Right, so let's just get that flat against the easel. It's got a nice flat surface to work with. Let's move a little bit further forward then. So I'm just going to leave those. <coughs> So we've got a sort of distant field there. That's just going to stay as it is. For once. I'm just going to switch to the flat brush now. And just put a few little fence posts. I'm just mixing a bit of brown, a bit of blue. Smaller and smaller as I've received the distance. Let's put some cross pieces on that. Now back to this brush. Just want to work out where there's like a path coming through here, so sort of swings around like that, something like so. And that's where the figure's going to go, just up there. We've got a quick job now, I'm going to bang some shadows across. Too much water. A bit of blue, a bit of brown, a bit of Payne's grey. Let's mix that sort of nice sort of bluey colour. Right then, so something like side there. And sort of following the contours of the land. So they're sort of cross there and then up up the banks on the other side. Blue. Let's 
a little bit of foliage up there, just a few dead leaves just hanging around. I'm switching to a little brush and I'm just going straight into the red, just light red on its own, so it really sort of stands out. I'm going to start off with his body. I'm going to do an ultramarine, just pop his legs in. Size little dog. Over that red, I'm trying to try and put that red back on again. Right, have a little bird flying up in the sky somewhere. <coughs> I'm going to stick him up there. Finally, I'm just going to sit me man down in this corner. Now let's see what that looks like with the mains on it. So here's our finished painting with the mountains. So we're going to go in and have a closer look at it. The sky is predominantly blue, but there's a little bit of raw sienna, cad yellow in there somewhere that was brought down a little bit into the uh, middle and foreground. Same colours used in these distant trees there, beyond all the sort of snowy fields there. Introduce a little bit of light red, a little bit more cadmium yellow for these evergreens there. And then we've got a bit of fingernail work, just scraping out a few trunks and branches and things there. Then we've got the foreground trees, pretty nice and dark, sort of silhouetted from the, the light, sort of coming from the right hand side, casting the shadows across to the left. A bit of rigor work again, a few bushes and twigs and things, all sorts of things growing out in the undergrowth. A um, bit of dry brushwork on the trees, just a few sort of dead leaves here and there. And then these shadows, just following the contours of the land, so it's straight across and then got a bank on this left hand side, so the shadows sort of start going up the bank there, help defining the, uh, the, the, the land itself as well. Um, the path there sort of leads up to our little man walking his dog and then finally our little birds in the sky flying around the snowy scene. Well, I hope you enjoyed that, thanks for watching. Um, I'm going to keep on painting now, you'll be able to watch that over on Patreon, you'll see the link in the description. So until next time, keep practicing, any questions please ask and I'll see you again soon.